Hello, so we are back in this time. We have a nice laptop to repair. This is a Dell. It is a nice laptop. i5, a gen, still decent. Pressing the power button and the laptop, it is coming on. And we do have picture. Now, what's the problem with this one? Let's read the customer email. The latitude loose USB-C port. Customer report does work when uh, we got Confirm loose without disassembling. Can I send you this one, please? A gentleman called Steve. Monday, yeah, I will say, let's start the day with uh, a easy repair. I mean, the laptop does have like a round, uh, round charging port, but probably most of the people, they will use the USB-C. Let's check the USB-C under the microscope. So for me, the port is looking good. I'm not thinking to a replacement on this point. I mean, every pin is present, but the port is moving up and down. So clearly this port is not soldered onto the board. Looks like a, you know, a easy job. Let's open the laptop quickly and let's have a look inside. When you are repairing charging ports, we are speaking about USB-C. So uh, the things you have to focus, it will be on a good key soldering of the port. Yeah? So the customer cannot move the port if he's moving the charger. Then you should focus on the, you have uh, plus pins and ground pins. Those are the most important ones because a lot of current is going through these pins. And uh, if you have like a poor solder job, they can get hot, they can melt, and, you know, the job, it will come back. You don't want the job to come back. No, no, because you have to give warranty. Yeah. And the laptop, it's open. And the port is here. I mean, okay, this is looking bad. <laughs> you know why it's looking bad? Because this, this is not a port having, like... Um, like surface solder pins. We have pins which are going inside of the board. That's mean it is possible every pin to be broken. And you can see the case of the of the port is moving. Yeah, very possible uh, this port need a replacement. Let me take the board out. Just give me like a few minutes. Now I seen questions before and you know uh, I see many people saying, okay, well, what computer shop it will send you a charging for soldering job? And you'll be surprised, but it's not that simple. I mean, it is simple to swap a capacitor, a chip, a MOSFET, but a charging port where you have plastic and metal and you have a bunch of pins there. Uh, looks simple, but not always it is simple. Apart from this, you have to have in mind you done a good job, you fix it, you, by the law, you are uh, obligated to give like three months warranty. The customer take the laptop, he's bending the port, like one month later, two months later, he's back with the port broken and you have to fix it again. If you can't fix it, you have to give a refund. So you have to fix it under the warranty. That's why this job has to be very well done. I mean, it has to be done better than the manufacturer did it. Here is not a place, yeah, let's say I'm replacing, or someone replacing a chip. You know, solder, cleaning, uh, flux, clean. No, it's no place for something like that on a charging port. So on a charging port, you put solder enough, you, you try to put something more like UV gel, like hot glue, you try to make it solid. Doesn't doesn't really matter how it looks. Because obviously, it's all about the warranty. You have to think, probably this job is not even from the customer who dropped the laptop. Probably, you know, the customer has kids, have pets. And, uh, you know, many times accidents happen. So who is paying when the accident happened? The first time customer, but after that... It will be the computer show fixing the fixing the port, just because of the warranty, of course. So the board is out. Let's have a look at the charging port. 
Oh, this is the charging board, which indeed is moving, but we can't see anything. Yeah, we have to take the port out. I can't even see the pins. So in order to take the port out, I'm going to try to preserve this port. Maybe the port is good. So I'm going to lower the temperature, like 360, 370. Let's try with 370. With 370, you have to heat the board longer because, you know, this is kind, kind of low temperature. We can see a metal thing is broken here. So the port has a cage over. And let me take out the cage. I can't believe every pin is broken. Ha! Who said it's an easy job? Check here. <laughs> So more than that, yeah, more than every pin is broken. Every pin is broken inside of the holes. You know how hard it is to take that pins out? So every pin has to be took out in order to replace the port. That's crazy. Uh, I made a, you know, I made a wrong decision to start the mon Monday with, uh, with this job. Yeah, it has to be done anyway, so... Uh, avoiding is not the right approach. So how you take every pin out? I don't know, you can be lucky for the pins to, to come out when you use the solder iron. Otherwise, you have to use some pin to, you know, push every pin out. <laughs> Yeah, looks like fun. Now let's try to take these pins out, which are not coming out because the board is sucking the heat, so you have to use the hot air. Good. And the other pins, I'm trying to suck the pins out with the solar iron. And of course they are not coming out. Okay, I'm gonna use some solder paste. Trying to lower the temperature of the solder. If we are lowering the temperature of the solder, we can work uh, easily. And the pins are coming out. You can't see them, but I can feel them on the solar iron. Yeah, so here are a bunch of pins on my solar iron. Yes, yeah, so all pins are out. Yeah, no pin is left on the board, I believe. Good, let's go on the other side. Same. Uh, soldering paste. And for me, it is looking good. Perfect, 180 degree solder wire. Rosin. Now the thing is, we start the job, I don't know if I have the port. <laughs> so we have to find the same other board and take the port out. Okay, 
good now just uh, give me like a uh, few minutes try to find another Dell board to take the port okay I don't have this uh, this particular port so uh, I'm gonna order from eBay I'll buy like two just to have it on the future and uh, probably see you on the port arrive yeah yeah see you later so we are on the next day I mean it was not even 24 hours and I got the ports huh I bought two so we have the charging ports here all we have to do is to solder the port back onto the board and we have the charging port that should be quick I'm gonna use a little bit of uh, liquid rosin just a little bit perfect and now all what we have to do is to solder the port back so I'm gonna come with hot air 350 degrees let's boil the roast in a little bit to evaporate the alcohol perfect one second yeah, let me take the tweezer out. And now the port, it is soldered proper on place. Now let's make sure uh, the job it will not come back. So I'm gonna apply solder, a lot of solder. To be sure the port is not moving. Even if the customer is abusing the port. Perfect. Perfect, so what do you think? Mm -hmm. Looking good, it's looking like brand new. Mm -hmm. Let's plug the charger and see if it's working. Plug in the charger and the meter it is coming on and the board is coming on also. You can see here the light on the power button. Yeah, 400 milliamps. Moving up and down, solid. Now testing from the other side, plug in the charger and the meter it is coming on. Up and down, solid. I will say let's put the board back and let's test it. I'm going to use a little bit of hot glue on the back of the port. 480 degrees, good. Perfect. Now let's put the board back. The port is aligned. Everything is fine. Let's test it one more time. Plug in the charger without the adapter. And yeah, the meter it is coming on. Check that. And we have 300 milliamps with 20 volts. Working fine. Plug in the charger and the meter it is coming on. Yeah. 600 milliamps yeah over one uh, probably start charging we should see picture soon and we have picture yeah it's taking like 1.1 amps on the port is taking like 3 amps and everything is fine we have the charging sign there 
three point two amps. You seen that? Yeah, charging for it. Okay, so I'm gonna stop here. It was uh, it was quite an easy job. I would say thank you for watching. You know, like, subscribe if you like the video, and see you on the next one. Bye.